welcome to my channel it's Aline from Scrap Amazing and I'm finally back with the video so October was so busy so first I was super sick and then university started I got a new part-time job and it was hectic but I'm finally back with the video and for this month I'm the guest designer for the wild hair kits and I already posted my unboxing video make sure to check it out it's amazing so these kits are curated for um, the person that's ordering the kit so this was just my kit if you are ordering you will get totally different things but I think these kits are quite cool so I also designed a sketch for the wild hair kits so on their blog there is my sketch and some of the design team members have already played along with it and I love all the projects and it's so cool to design a sketch and others working with it and create these amazing projects so today it's my turn to uh, create a project for my sketch so you saw the sketch in the beginning I designed it quite simple so it's easy to follow and you can um, decide how you do it and yeah I think these sketch or my sketches I try to do them that they are not too limited so you can interpret them how you want to so yeah basically I was inspired by this paper from we are memory keepers with the raindrops and on the back side is this dark blue I used so um, I wanted to use this paper to scrap my first um, pay, uh, photos from autumn so I already took some nice photos and I wanted to um, scrap this one and I cut it in a, into a triangle so one of my triangles on the paper will be the photo and the other one will not be a triangle I will be using this leaf I stitched so I cut this out and stitched around it I used some embroidery thread in like a mustardy color and to fit the leaves in my photo and yeah I really liked how I incorporated this leaf into um, the layout because before it was not really working for me so adding the leaf and the photo and the background really make made this whole layout cohesive in a way so yeah I really liked how this um, came together um, for the top part of my layout I just cut a big strip um, from the raindrop paper and then I cut two smaller strips and use oh flip them over so these dark blue one, uh, parts are the back of this paper and then I glued them slightly down and then I stitched with my sewing machine uh, with dark blue thread to be honest my stitching machine was not um, working how I wanted to work uh, how to have it but I fixed it and it's fine um, one part up at the top is kind of not right but it's okay I'm going with it so it's not perfect but I like the look of it uh, look of it so then I ruffled up the edges a little bit to give this uh, part a little bit of dimension and to lift it up so yeah it's m more interesting and in addition I also splattered up the bottom part or I also spread it on the top so I used um, some chalk uh, paint in dark blue or midnight blue I think it's called and then I used some basic watercolor from they were cheap um, in the mustard yellow that I had lying around and I just spread it all around or yeah around the bottom part and some parts of the top 
And first I uh, thought to use some Heidi Swap color shine, but in the end, I th or after splattering the other colors, I thought it was already enough splatter, so I did not use the Heidi Shine um, on this layout. But yeah, I will be using this piece from the ephemera pack that says happy and I will be using the phenomenal um, thickers from my kit. So they are amazing. They are from um, the One Canoe 2 Hazel Butch collection or something, but they are amazing. On top, they are gold, and the foam is like has a tealy color, so it's perfectly matching with the raindrops uh, that I used at the top. And yeah, I was so struggling to incorporate this tag. This tag is from a cutter part from Maggie Holmes. I thought it would work because of the yellow color, but. I couldn't make it work. So here you can see I cut off the top and I will not be using the sentiment that was on there, but I thought it would be fun to yeah, use the top part of it and I will tuck it under over there. And basically this layout um, came together quite quickly. Um, sure, the stitching took me a while, but I did this um, up front before I started filming and yeah really like how this turned out and the leaf is perfect and the photo really coordinates with all the things so I'm so happy this is my first layout after my September scrap amazing September and I was really yeah haven't had time to scrap so I was happy to do this one again and yeah, make sure to check out the White Hair Kids blog because I posted my first blog post ever on there. And leave me a comment there or leave me a comment on this video how you like my um, layout. If you do you like scrapping autumn photos because it's my favorite season. I really enjoy um, scrapping these photos, so you will be, um, you can looking, f you can look forward to see more of my photos from autumn. So I took some nice uh, last weekend, so I will be scrapping them in a few days, weeks, whatever. But I will be posting them here on YouTube. And yeah, if you are interested to get a kit from the Wild Hair Kits, check out their website. And there you can fill out a style profile and it's totally awesome. You can fill it out and then Alison, the owner of the Wild Hair Kits, um, will create a um, kit from your style profile. So it's really awesome. It's really made to suit your style so that's totally cool and yeah i had this idea because the stitching up at the top went kind of not really right i thought i could fold over the um the corner and so the stitching is not showing that much and then I thought that's a cool idea I could do it at the bottom bottom as well so I have two of them um, creating a diagonal so yeah that's what I did make sure to check out the white hair kits and I will link the, them in the description box and see you next time bye